Sure. All right. So we said refractive index N is given by sine I over sine R. Mm -hmm. Where R is the angle of refraction, then I is the angle of incidence. And also, we also went ahead and defined refractive index in term of the uh, in term of the speed of light. We said because there is bending, which is caused due to refraction, and because of difference in optical densities in the two media or in the pair of the media, we can also say it, or uh, refractive index, refractive index is defined as the ratio of speed of light, speed of light, speed of light, is the ratio of speed of light, speed of light in, in vacuum or air to speed of light, to speed of light, to speed of light in another medium, in another medium. And speed of light, speed of light, speed of light in a virtual model in air is given, is denoted by letter C. Then speed of light, speed of light in another medium, in another medium, we use letter what? V. So for that case, now we can say refractive index N is equals to C over what? C over V. And we also went ahead and said, because the speed of light, the speed of light in a vacuum is given because light travel at the speed of, what is the speed of light members? We said C is given to be 3.0 exponent what? Eight meters per meters per second. So that's the speed of light. So which means when now you are doing calculation on a refractive index, this one is always a constant. The speed of light in the vacuum is always a constant. So which means the only thing you have to look for, you either get, you need to know the refractive index, then the speed of light. Then you can use the formula. But you also know that the speed of light for any pair of medium, as long as light is traveling in a vacuum, the speed of light is given to be that. Not so members? Are we together? Yes. Yes. So that's what we discussed the other time. That's what we discussed the other time. We also went ahead and gave reasons why the refractive index for different pair of media is different. Like we talk of refractive index of water. Refractive index of water is 1.33. Refractive index of glass is 1.52. Then the refractive index of air is 1.00. We gave all reason for this. We gave reason for this. Okay? I, I believe you still remember them. Do we still remember them? Do we still remember them? Yes. All right. Yes. So for today, let's look at our heading for today is principle of reversibility of light. Can we put it down? Principle of reversibility of light. Principle of reversibility of light. Principle of reversibility of light. Principle. Principle of reversibility of light. Principle of reversibility of light. Principle of reversibility of what? Light. What does it state? The principle of reversibility of light, the principle of reversibility of light states that, so it states that the answer is on our screen there, members. Can we put it down? Just from the name suggests reversibility, which means we look at when we reverse, when we reverse the direction of light, when we reverse the direction of light rays, when we reverse the direction of light rays, what happened to the path followed by the light? What happens to that? So we are saying that it states that 
if a light ray or a path after suffering a number of after suffering a number of refraction is reversed at any stage it travels back to the same source along the same path along the same path with the same refraction with the same refraction with the same what refraction are we together members are we together it states that if a ray if a light ray if a light ray suffers suffers a numbers of refraction is reversed at any stage it travels back to the same source along the same path along the same path with the same direction with the same direction with the same direction or someone can say or or someone can say the principle of reverse speed of light states that it states that it states that it states that the path it states that the path of a light ray of a light ray is reversible is it reversible is reversible that is is reversible that is if a ray of light if a ray of light is reversed if a ray of light is reversed is a ray of light is reversed comma it takes it takes exactly it takes exactly the same path it takes exactly the same the same what the same path as before as before it takes the same path as what as before First, reply to some message. It takes the same path. It is take the same path as before. It takes the same path as before. So, members, are we together? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's look at ray diagram how do we present it in a ray diagram ray diagrams ray yeah, diagrams easy. let's look at the case one case one if light ray is traveling let's take for example is traveling from is traveling from so this is our normal line that is our normal so if we have air and maybe glass air and glass so if light rays is traveling from air to glass from air to what from air to to glass from air to glass what happens to this members is it going to bend towards or away is it going to bend out towards the normal or away from the normal hmm? members is it going to bend away or towards the normal towards the normal Mm -hmm. it, it depends towards the what the normal why 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 remember why put it in mind uh. members why yeah, why Fisher. yes it's One because yes it's because it's moving from a Rare media to a denser media. Uh -huh, good. It's moving from a less dense medium to a more dense medium. Uh -huh. Case two, what if now light is traveling from glass, from glass to air? From glass to what? It's because it's moving from... Glass to air. What will happen? Glass to air. Let's see that. Glass to air. Glass to different air. Teacher. Glass, what? glass to air glass to air so if air is here then we have our glass here so this time light is traveling from glass to air glass to air 
plus to air. Something like that. So it's traveling like that. So which means this one become our angle of what? This one become our angle of, become our angle of what? Incidence. This one become our angle of what? Incidence. So is it going to bend toward or away from the normal? Hmm? Remember, is it going to be towards the normal or away from the normal? Away. Away, good. It's going to be away from the normal. Away like that, like that. Don't forget to put the arrow, then this one become our angle of refraction. That one become our angle of refraction. That one become our angle of refraction. Okay. Have you finished drawing it, members? Have you finished drawing it? Members? Have you finished drawing it? Have you finished drawing it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's write some note on that. Let's write some note on that. So let's say, let's say, let's say this is A, yes? Yes? Yeah, for B, then the upper one's supposed to be glass. No, it's moving from glass. The arrow is here, from glass to air, glass to air. The arrow, I seen where I the see. arrow is. You have seen where the arrow is pointing? Yes, teacher. Yes. This one is from glass to air. This one is from air to, to glass. So let's say this is point A. Then this point, this is point is O. Then this one is B. A, O, B. So we can say, we can say, let's write some note on that. Let's write some note on that. So from the above, from the above red diagrams, from the above red diagrams, comma, light, light moving or traveling from, from A to B can reverse, can reverse, can reverse its path, can reverse its path by moving, by moving, by moving from B to what? By moving from B to, by moving from B to, to A. Through, 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 exactly, through exactly the same path. Through exactly the same, through exactly the same what? The same path. Full stop, full stop. This means that, this means that, this means that, this means that the path, this means that the path of light, this means that the path of light is reversible. This means that the path of light is what? Reversible. Hence, hence the principle, hence the principle of reversibility, hence the principle of reversibility of, of light. From the above the red diagrams, light moving from A to B can reverse its path by moving from B to A through exactly the same path. This means that the path of light is reversible, hence the principle of reversibility of light. Are we together, members? Are we together? Yes. We are together, eh? Ready? Ready? Are we together? Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Members, have you put this statement down? Have you put this statement down? So let's put a sample question there. Sample question. How this question can be said? Mm -hmm. Let me say it with the with the aid of array diagram. With the aid of array diagram, comma. Explain. Explain the principle. Explain the principle of reversibility of light with the head of a red diagram explain the principle of reversibility of what of light so where do we start from you start by sketching this you first draw this red diagram here you first draw the red diagram after drawing the red diagram then you state the law of reversibility of light you state the law of reversibility of what light after stating that then you come and explain using now this statement here. You explain your, you explain your red diagram. You explain your red diagram. You explain your red diagram. I together members, have you seen that how you, how you approach that question? Yes, teacher. Yes, that's how you approach question. That's how you approach question. This is your question. Yes. Yes. Someone. Someone was having a question. Okay, if you are, if you are answering that question, will you draw both those diagrams? Or no. Yes? No. You just pick one. You just pick one. Okay. 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 You just draw one. Only that. The only difference now it comes in your explanation. So we are saying at first light is traveling from where? From glass to, from glass to, I mean from air to, from air to glass. So we are saying that if you are to reverse the direction again, if light is now traveling from glass to air, it will still follow the same path. It will still follow the same path. That's why I will, I will try to demonstrate them using these two ray diagrams so that you can see it clearly. But you use only, you draw only one ray diagram, okay? Okay, then you explain that ray diagram. That's why we are saying in our explanation here, we said, we said light moving from A to B can reverse its path by moving from B to what? By moving from B to A through exactly the same path. Are you together, Maya? Maya, are we together on that? Maya? Maya, yes. have I answered you? Yes. Good. Uh-huh. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. So this one, we have already seen them. The law of refraction of light, we have already seen them. This one, we have talked about them. So now, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look. Yes. Let's look at the experiment yes. now. Yes? Yes, for the Okay, like, for the diagrams, the exp for both of them, the explanation is the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, okay. teacher. Only that here, yeah. I, was, I was trying to show you, I was trying to show you that if I want you to see the different, this, different distinctly. Well, because what is important here is the, the, the arrow, the direction of the arrow. Because the arrow is showing that light is traveling from where? From air to? From air to glass. Yeah. But Fria is showing that it's traveling from where? From glass to, glass, yeah. to air. But the explanation is the same. Just pick one of them and then use it to, 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 to explain that answer, okay? Okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah, just pick one. The explanation will remain the same because that is the law or the principle of reversibility of light. Remember, subheading, 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 an experiment, an experiment, an experiment, an experiment to determine, an experiment to determine the, an experiment to determine the refractive index, an experiment to determine the refractive index, an experiment to determine the refractive index. 
an experiment to determine the refractive index. An experiment to determine the refractive index of a material of a what? Of a what? Of a material. An experiment to determine the refractive index of a material. An experiment to determine refractive index of a material. Are we together, members? Are we together? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So in bracket, let's say maybe for of a glass block. Let me say of a glass block. An experiment to determine the refractive index of a material in bracket glass block. So what are the requirements? What do we need for these experiments? Requirements. Required apparatus. Required what? Apparatus. First of all, we need a glass block. We need a glass block. Mm -hmm. That is one, that's what we need. And it must be rectangular in nature. It must be a rectangular glass, glass block. Two, we need four optical pins. Four optical, optical pins. And drawing, drawing pins, drawing pins. Next. We also need a soft board. We also need a soft board. Mm -hmm. Then we also need a white sheet of paper. We need a white sheet of, a white sheet of what? Paper. Then we also need a complete, a complete mathematical set. A complete mathematical, mathematical set. All right, together. Yes. So these are the things we need. So when we report back to school, we shall take you through these experiments and then we see how we perform them in the lab setting. So what, what is the setup? Let's look at the setup. So if this is our soft board, assuming this is our soft board members, assuming this is our soft board, which I, I know is, is not something new. Mm -hmm. This is our soft board. Then you fixed the white sheet of paper there. We are fixing it there. So this is our white sheet of paper. It may appear to be like that. It may appear to be like that. This is our white sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. Then we have the drawing pins. We use it to fix now the papers on the soft board. This is our drawing pins which at the other time i believe when we were talking about reflection of light we discussed that you know how it look like mm -hmm. then i place a glass block now i place a, i trace the outlines of a glass block you trace the outline of a what of a glass block and we say the glass block must be rectangular we are going to see that one we are going to see that one as well mm -hmm. So that's our glass block. Then we draw a normal line. We create a normal line there, members. We create a normal line. Mm -hmm. So I will draw to a given angle, to a given angle there. Then light is reflected, I mean, is refracted, is refracted to this point here. Then from here, I will also create a normal. I will also create a normal there so that I can be able to see that. Then again, from here is refracted. From here is also refracted members. Is also what? Refracted. Is also refracted back to air. So is the air, glass, back to air, okay? So then we fix the optical pins. We fix the optical pins. We fix the optical pins. So this is our P1, then this is our P2. 
then this is our p3 this one our p4 like that so this is it a b c d you have leveled it like that mm -hmm. then this is our point n mm -hmm. then we can call this point x you can call that point x then this one here this is our angle of incidence that's our angle of incidence then this one is our angle of what this angle of what refraction that is angle of refraction so those are the things we need members have you seen the setup have you seen the setup yes yes please can you draw it down can you draw it have you finished drawing it yes okay no okay you draw it draw it please you draw it I'm still drawing okay you draw you draw please this is how we got it And everything here must be drawn with the ruler. Please don't use your free hand because you said light travel in a straight line. So which means they must be straight edges. They must be straight edges. They must be straight what? Edges. So use a ruler, please. Those one who are lazy. And they don't pay attention to the details. Let's follow the principles. Let's follow the what? The principles. So we want to determine the refractive index, remember? If you remember from the definition of a refractive index, what do we need? From the first definition of a refractive index, which was talking about the angles. What did we say, members? What did we say? Hmm? Because we want to determine the refractive index. So which means I need to know, I need to measure this angle I, you know so? And I need to measure this angle what? R, not so, not so? And we know that refractive index is given by sine, I divided by sine R, sine R. So this is what we need. So whenever you are determining refractive index, we need to measure the angle of incidence and we need to measure the angle of what? Refraction, as simple as that. But how do you go about that? How do you perform it practically? How do you perform it practically? So let's look at the procedures. Let's look at the procedures now. Procedures. Let's look at the procedures. Procedure number one. Members, what do you do? Hmm? Who can tell us what do we do there first? When you look at the way we are doing it here, what did we do first? What did we do? First, the, the soft board. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, let's, just, let's, let's make it simple. We're saying a glass block, a rectangular glass block, a rectangular glass what? glass block is placed is placed on a white sheet of what of what of paper of paper is placed on a white sheet of paper fixed fixed on a soft board fixed on a soft board like Linnet has said like Lynette has said. So a rectangular glass block is placed on a white sheet of paper fixed on a what? Mm -hmm. On the softboard, comma, using, using, what do we use for fixing the, 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 the white sheet of paper? We use drawing, using, drawing what? Drawing pins, using drawing pins. And its outlines, and its outline, and its outline, and it's outlined A, B, C, D are dressed. A, are dressed. A rectangular glass block is placed on a white sheet of paper fixed on the soft board using drawing pins and it's outlined A, B, C, D, A, like you can see from our, in, from our, from our diagram here on the screen. So A, B, C, D, like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Then after that, the glass block is removed. The glass block is removed. So after tracing, the glass block is then removed. Is then removed. And the normal, 
the normal line there. So we draw the normal line and the normal and the normal line and the normal line and the normal line and the normal line is drawn and the normal line is drawn at first at first a b at first a b at first a b next next members are you following me yes teacher all right mm -hmm. so let me add some few things here let me add some few things in our diagram here so that it make it easier for us to follow let's say this is m let's call that one that, let's call that point m Let's call that point M. So which means I'll have MN. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is N. Let's call this one O, sorry. Let's call it O. Let's call it O. So the normal line, the normal line is drawn. And that is, that is O, O what? O N, that is O N. After that, the line, the line MN, the line MN. The line MN, 